powerful influence. Knowing how the communication of Lucifer wickedly affected one third of the other angels emphasizes how powerfully persuasive social interactions and relationships are. Life tells us again and again the persons we frequently have fellowship with has opportunity to have a lasting influence on our thinking and imaginations, which leads us in making life choices. Many persons who prompt sinful thoughts from their verbal and nonverbal communication are operating according to how they have been influenced. Various shared visual and audible devices are even powerful contributors in prompting thoughts and imaginations leading to actions. Not taking serious the need to guard our hearts and minds can lead us to sadly make long-lasting and regrettable life-defeating and soul-destroying choices. There is truly a wise and constant need to give our thoughts full attention. What we think on our own or what we are prompted by someone else to think or do must be considered. That which is treasured in our heart shall sooner or later be shared with others in our words or deeds. Constant thoughts and imaginations do crystallize things frequently thought about to come to reality that we have the love of the Lord God is demonstrated as we consider the guidance on thinking he has given us in his word. Proverbs 23, 7 For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. Jeremiah thirteen seventeen, But if ye will not hear it, my soul shall weep in secret places for your pride, and mine eye shall weep sore and run down with tears, because the Lord's flock is carried away captive. Proverbs 24, 9 The thought of foolishness is sin, and the scorner is an abomination to men. 1 Corinthians 15.33 Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Love accepted or rejected. It is the Lord God's plan for us to enjoy the fellowship of love with Him and others. Besides our knowing the love the Lord God has for us, we, according to our Lord God's guidance, are called to know the makeup and endurance of love. We are taught by the Word of God that love never does harm to others. Lucifer chose not to love, to do harm to his Creator. The deception of Lucifer's heart stole from Lucifer the desire to truly be like his Lord. With prideful anger, Lucifer would not yield to the merciful kindness of the Lord God. Lucifer would not yield to the Lord God's merciful love, which offers forgiveness. By refusing to yield to the graciousness of his Creator's forgiving love, Lucifer chose darkness rather than light and death rather than life. The way for Lucifer to be reconciled to the Lord God was arrogantly rejected by fallen Lucifer, who had by his choice rejected love, which fully opened the door for him to become Satan. Romans 13.10 Love worketh no ill to his neighbor, 
Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. 1 John 1, 9 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Matthew 22, 37 through 39 Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment and the second is like unto it thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. 1 John 4.16 And we have known and believed the love that God hath to us. God is love and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God and God in him. 1 Corinthians 1556, the sting of death is sin.